I've been a Tesla Model Y owner for about two months now. I'm also an avid cyclist, so it was easy to add the towing hitch feature offered by Tesla for this model. Now that it's spring, it was time to get the bike rack I wanted, and in this case, it was the Kuat NV 2.0. It's the two inch size and comes in matte black. I picked it up at my local bike shop, put it together, and was super excited to put it on the car and take the bikes out for a spin. No problems, or so I thought. What I want to talk about here are a couple of issues and fixes that I've discovered along the way of getting this bike rack on the car and working. Before I get too far, I just wanted to let you know that I'm not going to show you how this bike rack works. My guess is that if you're watching this video, you've already seen numerous reviews and how-tos already. I bought my bike rack in March of 2021, and based on some older videos I've seen, the locking pin mechanism seems to have changed. The version that comes with my rack is a black pin with a locking mechanism that attaches in parallel with the pin. While this looks nice, it absolutely does not work with the Model Y hitch. As you can see here, the space between the hitch and the electrical plug isn't huge. In fact, you can see that the lock doesn't fit at all. You can't install the pin the other direction either. I called Kuat the next day and described my situation. They immediately knew what was going on and offered to send out the pin lock setup from an earlier version of this bike rack. In this version, the lock attaches in a perpendicular manner. Back of the hitch, you can see how it now fits. One thing to understand that with the way this hitch is installed, Getting the pin through the hitch and into the lock is a little tricky. You might cuss a little, but with a little effort, you can get it done. When it's all said and done, you will have to carry two keys, one for the perpendicular lock and one for the bike locks that are built into the rack itself. One last tidbit of information is uh, about the warning messages you get when the bike trailer is attached to the back of the car and folded up. Uh, it obviously it blocks out all the uh, lights so what happens is that you get a whole bunch of obnoxious air messages so here let's go into reverse and immediately you see stop in this red message warning light and then when you start to go into reverse There's the warning messages, the signs, everything. Kind of obnoxious. So there's a way to disable those while the hitch is on. So you can go into quick controls, driving, trailer mode, turn it on. This little red trailer symbol shows up right here. And then when you go into reverse, all the warning messages have been disabled. Whoa. Of course, when you're done with the uh, trailer, you just turn it off and you're back to normal.